Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to uh, capture image from the web camera and uh, you can say that a uh, laptop camera and uh, capture that image and save that image into the database table. So that is the basic step you can do and uh, you can see your captured image will be saved in database table. So there is uh, some steps to follow this. Uh, to capture the image from the uh, from the web camera you, you can do this by using the javascript and by using the javascript you can call api methods and also you can just send that image in the form of object okay so uh, in the form of object you can send image any image uh, by using the json.stringify by uh, you can just convert that image into the json and uh, just send uh, to the controller okay by using the fetch method okay so here we have a fetch query and by using the fetch method you just send the uh, data to the controller so this this is the basic steps you can do if you want to use database table so this is the basic steps like public class application db context and uh, db context is there and and here we have now uh, you know that a DB context is actually existing in the Microsoft dot entity framework core. Now in the constructor, you can just initialize that connection string. That is the DB connection string, uh, DB context options. And in the DB context options, you have application DB context and in which you can just provide the options. Okay. So this is the basic steps and you can just add models right here. By using the public uh, db set, uh, the model name is a image model, and here we have image model that is the file name and the file path. Just I want to save it, and you know that here we have a connection string. So just write it the connection string, and to design the connection string by using GitHub Copilot, that is the very basic steps uh, that is followed by the GitHub Copilot, and it's very um, easy uh, to write any queries. Okay, that is very easy. So uh, you can just write uh, the code is a capture capture image db and the next one is the builder the register that connection string into the program.cs file. So here we have a builder dot services dot add db context and here we have uh, db context name like uh, just change this with the application db context and here we have a options so options dot use sql server builder dot configuration dot get connection string and in this uh, just you can use default connection string okay so here i'm using uh, that is install use SQL server and default connection so here we have okay so everything is clear now just go for the next uh, session that is just you have to add uh, that is the Microsoft dot entity framework for tools uh, that is used for your uh, actually uh, for the migration Now the basic steps you can do and uh, that is the migrations so apply the migration by using add migration command and here we have a initial migration just apply that migration by using add dash migration and the migration uh, uh, name that is initial so here we have a build started and successfully build is completed now just go for the update database command okay Okay, so <coughs> migration is applied uh, on a capture image from the camera and upload image in the database table. <coughs> so the basic logic is here. You can say, <coughs> first of all, uh, I'm going to use video and the button, uh, single button. Video have a ID property that is video and video is actually visible in 640 and 480 width and height properties and autoplay 
uh, features will be enabled because when we run our uh, project then auto play your video by using the webcam so first of all asking the permissions by using javascript okay so here we have a section and under under the java uh, under the script stacks we have some uh, topics okay <clears throat> so under the videos canvas and the context here we have a document dot get element by id that is video canvas and 2d so here we have a canvas that is create element canvas and create a 2d context by using the canvas i mean to say that you can draw any 2d object on the canvas so navigator dot media device dot get user media that is video just i'm going to use that is the id property of the video uh, okay so dot then function stream video dot src object that is a stream and video dot play okay so video is played and uh, it's a catch function so document dot get element by id that is mean of capture add event listener of the video that is click when we click on capture button the context dot draw image that is video that is the current position of the video by using width and height so get the url from the canvas so canvas dot two data url and just send back to the upload image and here we have a image and by using the upload image function here we have an image by using the fetch api you just call the a function of controller by using this fetch method and the first parameter of the fetch method that is the url of the action method with the their controller or you can see the routing the second one is the method and the third one is the header information that is the content type just i want to send the content type that is application public json file now after that we will convert that uh, data in the form of the session so json dot stringify image data is uh, just sent back to the controller so here we have to design controller so i'm going to use uh, actually iweb host environment because the iweb host environment is actually used for uh, uh, navigate to the ww root folder so uh, here we have a web root uh, properties in inside in the uh, web host environment okay so uh, so here i'm using iweb host environment underscore environment so that is the basic terms to use and here we have a iLogger and uh, iweb host environment okay now uh, we will go for to uh, add this method where image will be uploaded okay so before going to do this first of all add application db context because you know that by using the application db context you can save that image in the database table by the um, name property and the file path property okay so here we have a private read only application db context underscore db context so everything is right now add parameter in the home controller section that is db context and here we have a i action result and that is the upload image from the body now here i'm using upload image if uh, if uh, if you remove from body because from body is actually determine the request is getting from the suggestion format so from body is needed right now must you know that here we have a JSON dot stringify object, so that converted and received by the from body attribute. So must to include this. I will later uh, include this. And now just after that, you have to create a file name and the file path by using the environment dot web root path. Okay. So by using the file stream class, you have to create a new file, and by using the binary writer, because the image is actually convert from the string okay uh, from base 64 string that is the convert into the um, binary format so here we have binary reader 
and finally writer dot close now after that you have to save the image path on the um, by you in the image you know that just I'm going to add a new property where your image uh, upload is actually exist so just I'm going to use that class upload data okay so by using the from body just I'm going to add a from body right here and also here we have a upload data in upload data just I'm uh, here we have a three properties like name age and image data and image data is like a string property you know that so upload image is a class okay and now just I'm going to send by using the JSON dot string file here I'm going to send object okay in the controller action method and you will get the captured image on your controller and will saved in the database table correctly thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core javascript and any other so here we have a video is automatically autoplay by using this line of code and here we have a mobile and uh, on my hand but just i want to capture it by using the capture button then you will see that that is image is captured and also saved in the database table so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and notice that must to include your object data as well as that object will be sent into the controller so don't forget please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon if you know about asp.net core and their properties and their functions thank you guys for watching this